Hello and welcome. My name is Connor Lynch with Westwood Media Center. We are continuing our interview series with department heads, directors, board chairs, in order to figure out exactly how the COVID-19 crisis has been affecting uh, Westwood. Today with me, I have Lena Arena De Rosa, the director of the Council on Aging. Lena, thank you for coming and joining the show today. Thank you, Connor. We're so pleased to, to partner with Westwood Media Center. Well, we appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, so first, I just kind of wanted to do a general check-in. How, uh, how are you holding up with working from home and uh, the limited staffing and everything like that? How has kind of just life been in general? Well, right now, I'm here every day, usually 8 to 2, sometimes earlier, sometimes later, um, Monday through Friday. Um, my staff is doing a great job working remotely. Um, so if any senior needs to get in touch with us, definitely call us. We're always aware that people still have questions and concerns. We're here to answer them um, and to make sure that anyone who needs help will get the help that we can provide. Absolutely. Um, so can you go a little bit into the precautions that the Council on Aging has been taking in terms of keeping um, seniors and staff members as safe as possible? Well, right now, technically, we are closed. Um, there are no programs here, no transportation. Our outreach services are simply through phone messaging and phone calls. And again, I'm here to answer any questions. Um, the safety of our staff and the safety of seniors is paramount. And we know these are trying times during the health crisis, but we have to do what's, what's best for everybody. Um, we are still delivering Meals on Wheels every day. And we're up to almost 60 meals a day. So if anyone's interested in, in um, a Meals on Wheels um, opportunity, they should definitely call HESCO. And the number there is 781-784-4944. Um, and they can get a meal delivered every single day. So, and I think that's important for food security. But again, if you have some outreach questions or if you have some general questions, you can still call us. Um, if we don't answer, just leave a message. We'll get back to you. Um, and finally, we sent out a newsletter, which I hope everyone got um, last week, which sort of gave an update on everything. Our programs will be closed until the end of May. I know we're ahead of the curve on that, but we do not see anything happening here until June. And I think you, know, you saying that you are ahead of the curve, absolutely, I, I would agree. And I think that um, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to see a lot more businesses and town departments shutting down through May into June. Um, unfortunately, possibly even beyond there. So, uh, you know, it's a tough decision, but I think that it was the right one. And I think that, you know, as you're talking about the health and safety of seniors and your staff members, that's paramount. And like I said, tough call, but I think you guys are doing the right one. Thank you. I do too. Yeah. Um, obviously, the Council on Aging has been offering a number of different services uh, when it's running and everything like that. What other resources are still available for seniors who are struggling in these times? Okay, again, if you are food insecure, um, you should call HESCO and get on Meals on Wheels. And I'll give that number once again, and I have to look at it. 781-784-4944. Please, Meals on Wheels will at least make sure that once a day. You can also call the food pantry. They are still around. Um, they are private and independent of us, but we do partner a lot with them. And their number is 781-269-208. 808. I'll give that again. 781-269-2008. And you can leave a message with them. They're also very responsive and they will help you. Um, and finally, if you're feeling extremely lonely or if you're feeling really isolated, which is probably the other big problem. We worry about food security and we worry about isolation. And the isolation piece is a little more complicated because obviously there's not a whole lot we can do to help you with that. But what you can do is we work with, um, and I'm going to read this so I say it correctly, mm -hmm. we work with the William Jane's Interface Referral System, and they're wonderful, and it's free. Did you hear that? It's free. Um, so people can then you call them, and their number, I'll say it slowly, 888-244-6843, and you're going to ask for extension 1411. Again, I'll say it, 888 244 6843 extension 1411 and then they will talk to you and through the, your conversation with them they will connect you with a therapist now a lot of seniors think oh i don't need therapy i don't need a counselor i mean i get that but sometimes when you're feeling really isolated and pressed and lonely 
it's important that you connect with someone and that may be and that may be a help but finally and probably most importantly get on the phone talk to your neighbors talk to your family talk to your friends if you don't know how to internet that's fine there's still the phone if you do know how to internet you can do what we're doing do zoom so you know there's lots of things that people can still do and i have to say i want to thank cable because we're also hopefully in the future going to be able to provide um, more opportunities for seniors um, through our cable station. And we'll let you know, we'll update you probably. Is that all right with you, Connor? Yeah, we'll absolutely. update everyone absolutely. once we have that online. But we're also gonna try and do exercise online, um, exercise through cable. We're gonna try and do yoga through cable. We're gonna try and do a lot of things through our wonderful partnership with you all. So thank you. Yeah, no, we appreciate that. And I hope that it isn't just, you know, we're happy to help out, obviously, but it's not just us, it's other community partners, you know, you're mentioning right. the community chest, the food pantry, and I know that you're kind of funneling people over to there because they're the ones that need the most amount of help. But in these times, it's most important for everybody to start chipping in, helping each other, helping out and everything like that, which brings me to my next question. I'm sure that you've gotten a lot of calls about people wanting to volunteer, wanting to help out. So if I was a resident in Westwood, how can I best assist um, not only just the council on aging, but just the senior population in general? Okay, well, the first and foremost thing, if you are out there in Westwood and you're watching this, please make a phone call to your neighbors who are elderly because they are feeling isolated. Please call your friends and call your family. And I'm not just saying once a week, I'm saying every other day, maybe even every day. You know, you, just because you're in your house doesn't mean you have to be isolated. So hopefully that's the first thing you can do. And that really does make a difference to everybody. The other thing is, if you think you'd like to help with Meals on Wheels, because we are still delivering, well, there's a lot of other volunteer opportunities that we're creating. And again, we're all swimming in uncharted waters. So we're like, every day there's a new issue and there's a new problem yeah. and we're trying to resolve it, but it's a good thing. It's okay. That's our job. So if you think you have time and you would like to go out and maybe help a senior, get in touch with me directly through email. Um, my email is rather long, but I'll give it anyway. Um, it's L Arena De Rosa. So it's L A R E N A D E R O S A at um, I'm sorry, I just totally at townhall.westwood.ma.us. Again, you can also go on to the town website and you can get in touch with us through that. But send us an email. I need your name. I need your address. We do need to Corey check everyone. Once you're Corey checked, we're going to put you into things that we need done. And a lot of it's um, our Meals on Wheels program. A lot of it's just calling seniors and doing some friendly visits, friendly calls. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think it's great that people would want to reach out to you, but also, as you say, you, you don't have to officially go through the council and agent and go through you to be able to doing this. It's just, if you know someone who's elderly or someone who might be struggling, just give them a call, you know, give it, them it a shouldn't call. be that hard. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, that kind of brings me to my last question. So I wanted to offer it up to you if there's any parting words you want to say to the seniors who might be watching this or to the residents of Westwood, just, anything that might come to your mind. Please, please, if you're feeling isolated, reach out to your friends and your family. That's probably the most important thing everybody can do. The other thing is, don't forget to wear your mask. Um, everybody should be wearing masks. Um, mm -hmm. We are wearing them here. I don't have it while I'm interviewing with you, but <laughs> every time we go out, we wear our masks. So please make sure that you, and if you need a mask, let us know because we have volunteers who have made us masks which is i mean don't you love mine yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> i love the, I love the little so design if you need on it one, let me know i'll try and connect you with someone who might be able to make you one mm -hmm. uh, but please you know stay connected that's the most important thing you do and also we're here so if you need us get us the bus yeah and i know that there's Thank a lot of people who are trying to find more creative things to do in this whole type of crisis and everything like that and i've seen a lot of people who are as you said making their own masks at home and kind of like decorating them a little bit i've seen people put on like those crazy little patterns and stuff so <laughs> if you're feeling a little bit stir crazy you might want to give your hand at you know take up a needle give a little bit of sewing going but at least it's something and it can keep you preoccupied and i'm sure that there's a lot of seniors who are a lot better at knitting than i am and sewing than i am so yeah. If you guys have the opportunity, please take advantage of it. And you know, what a great idea. Absolutely. And if you as a senior or you as a volunteer know how to sew, I don't sew, please make masks. <laughs> please make masks and bring them to us. We will make sure that they get distributed. So that's a great idea. 
Thank you. Absolutely. Lena, I want to really appreciate you taking the time out today to talk to us. And I hope that the people who are watching can utilize the resources we've talked about today and can hopefully keep the council and agent in mind uh, during this whole crisis until it's over, which is hopefully very soon. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Please be safe out there, all of you.